I'm just so happy that we won the College World Series, but I didn't feel joy. I didn't have I didn't know what to do the next day. I didn't know. Oklahoma defeated Florida State 3-1 on Thursday to win its third straight national title and 53rd consecutive game. But the story doesn't end there. Their interview is setting the internet on fire. At a time when celebrities are shying away from making a stand publicly with their faith for fear of being canceled, the Oklahoma Sooners softball team has proven otherwise. After winning the College World Series for women's softball and when asked a question by some reporters about how they maintain this joy, how they maintain this peace in the midst of all of the pressure and anxiety of needing to perform at such a high collegiate athletic level, listen to their response. Let's start with ESPN, the players. I know you talked about keeping the joy of the game, but I'm curious. It's a long season, right? And you guys have had the target on your back the entire time the win streak being number one. How do you handle the unique pressure that comes with that? How do you keep the joy for so long when anxiety seems like a thing that's very easily set in? This is a thought-provoking question. Many celebrities might seize such an opportunity to boast about themselves on national television, especially when interviewed by an ESPN reporter. But pay attention to this response. Well, the only way you can have a joy that doesn't fade away is from the Lord. And any other type of joy is actually happiness that comes from circumstances and outcomes. Um, I think Coach has said this before, but joy from the Lord is really the only thing that can keep you motivated, um, uh, just a good mindset, uh, no matter the outcomes. Thankfully, we've had a lot of success this year, but if it was the other way around, uh, joy from the Lord is the only thing that can keep you embracing those memories, moments, friendships, and all of that. So uh, that's really the only the only answer to that because there's no other way that softball can bring you that um, because of how much failure comes in it and just how much of a roller coaster the game can be. Amen to that. There is a profound truth in what she just shared, one that resonates deeply with many Christians. This world and all its fleeting pleasures can only offer transient happiness, dependent on circumstances and outcomes. It's akin to chasing the wind, ephemeral and unpredictable. But joy from the Lord... Ah, that's a different thing altogether. It's an enduring, deep-rooted delight that remains steadfast regardless of our life's circumstances. Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. The joy of the Lord is your strength. This verse affirms that the joy we find in God isn't just happiness, but it's our strength, our motivation to keep going, no matter the circumstances. The joy that God gives doesn't fluctuate with life's ups and downs. Instead, it equips us with strength, motivation, and resilience, allowing us to cherish each moment, memory, and relationship, regardless of the situation. 1,000% agree with Grace Lyons. Um, I went through that my freshman year. I I was so happy to win the college. I've talked about this before, but I was just so happy that we won the College World Series, but I didn't feel joy. I didn't have, I didn't know what to do the next day. I didn't know what to do for that following week. I didn't feel filled and I had to find Christ in that and I think that is what makes our team so strong is that we're not afraid to lose because if it's not the end of the world if we do lose yes obviously we worked our butts off to be here and we want to win but it's not the end of the world because our life is in Christ and that's all that matters did you hear that They've made Christ their top priority. This is a particularly powerful testimony given the times we're living in. It's remarkable, especially considering how many celebrities and public figures fear being canceled for openly aligning themselves with Christ. In the grand scheme of things, it's Christ who truly matters. Her experience beautifully illustrates the dichotomy between worldly success and spiritual fulfillment. Winning the College World Series as great an achievement as it was, left her yearning for more, for something deeper and more lasting. That yearning is precisely what led her to Christ, the source of true and enduring joy. As it says in Matthew 16, 26, what good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Our ultimate fulfillment and purpose aren't tied to the trophies we win, but to our relationship with Christ. The world's accolades and triumphs are transient. But the joy and peace we find in Christ are eternal. Um, I think a huge thing that we've really just latched onto is eyes up. And you guys see us 
doing this and pointing up, but we're really like Love that. fixing our eyes on Christ. And that's something where, like they were saying, you can't find a fulfillment in an outcome, whether it's good or bad. And I think that's why we're so steady in what we do and in our love for each other and our love for the game, because we know this game is giving us the opportunity to glorify God. I just think once we figured that out and that was our purpose and everyone was all in with that, um, it's really changed so much for us. And I mean, I know myself, I, I've seen so much of a growth in myself. With, um, once I turned to Jesus and I realized how he had changed my outlook on life, not just softball, but understanding how much I have to live for. And that's living to exemplify the kingdom, bring so much freedom. And I'm sure everyone's story is similar, but we all have those great testimonies that have really like shown how awesome it is to play for something bigger. Um, and I think that's just what brings me so much joy. And no matter the outcome, whether we get a trophy in the end or not, we're, this isn't our home. And I think that's what's amazing about it is we have so much more. We have an eternity of joy with our father, and I'm so excited about that. And yes, I live in the moment, but I know this isn't my home. And Amen. What an uplifting perspective. Her words deeply resonate with me, reminding us all that while we fully engage in the here and now, we must never lose sight of our ultimate home in eternity with our Heavenly Father. What a profound reminder that whether we receive earthly trophies or not, we are part of something much grander. We are citizens of heaven. As Philippians 3.20 reminds us, But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. Indeed, every opportunity... And every platform we have, including the games we play and our career, is an avenue to glorify God. When we come to this realization, our entire outlook changes, just like the Oklahoma Sooners softball team did. It's about more than just winning or losing. It's about embodying the kingdom, living our testimonies, and finding joy in playing for something bigger than ourselves. So let's savor every moment of this life but with the constant awareness that this world is not our final destination. We have an eternity of joy to look forward to with our Father. That truth doesn't just bring us hope, it gives us a freedom that's beyond compare. At a time when the mainstream media is trying to shut out anything that brings glory to Jesus, this team stood for their faith. I really want to say thank you to the team for this beautiful reminder of our eternal home and of the enduring joy we have in Christ, truly there's no greater joy than knowing we're playing for an audience of one. That wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to our channel. Please also share the video to help spread the gospel to all corners of our world.